I am recording, right? Yeah, I'm recording. Phew. I'm Layla Fox. So today we have a showcase for you from Pori. Pori has a variation of the Mythbuster unkillable clan boss comp that includes Cardial, Apothecary, Demetha, Seeker, and Ninja. So before we actually go run that clan boss comp, which is full auto, by the way, we're going to go check out the champs. I'm going to show you their gear, their masteries and such. So let's go check it out. All right, so here we are with the champs, and what's important to know is, like I said, this comp is going to be full auto from the start, and the speeds required aren't too tight, but what is going to be important is Ninja. When we get to Ninja, you're going to see that his speed just needs to be one speed higher than your turn meter booster, and in this case, we're running Apoth Apothecary as the speed turn boost, right? So his speed just has to be one speed higher, and then Apo needs to be make sure he's speed tuned for a true speed. Other than that, there's a little bit of flex and it's not too crazy so we're going to start out with cardial so now with cardial he actually he's in a toxic set as you guys see here to be able to get more damage from poisons and then he does have two mixed pieces and here are his stats so cardial's at 180 speed and you're gonna see he's at 33,000 hp his attacks at 3400 defense is at 2200 crit capped of course 219 crit damage and accuracy is 88 now, as far as his skills and as far as being booked, what's really important is his A2 gets booked. His Angel Song removes debuffs, block buffs, revive on death. This is the most important thing to have booked because what you guys are going to see is that, you know, his A1 isn't fully booked. But hey, if you end up fully booking him, that's great. It's just for this comp, he needs to be make sure his A2 is booked. And then here are the masteries. So the masteries actually aren't even complete yet, but we do have the T6 mastery right here for cardio. All right, next up is Ninja. So you're gonna see that Ninja is in two speed sets. He has two perception and some mixed pieces. And as far as his stats, much faster than Cardial. So you're gonna see that he's at 256 speed, okay? So we have 256 speed for Ninja. 28,000 HP, his attacks at 4,000, 1,700 defense, obviously crit capped, and 277 accuracy. Now for Ninja's abilities, talking about what absolutely has to get booked, we're talking about his Hail Burn. Attacks three times at random, does the HP burn. When used against bosses, it instantly activates HP burn. Because again, that gets us extra damage on there, does extra chances for the buff, and then also decreases the cooldown as well. And then for Masteries, here we have his Masteries and his T6 Mastery. Next up, we have Demetha. So you're going to see Demetha is in all speed sets. All speed sets. And then let's check out her stats. 295 speed. So, so far, I believe she's going to be the fastest one on the team. We have 295. We have 33,000 HP. Attacks 1,500. Accuracy 80. That kind of stuff's not really necessary. We end up using her for the block damage, right? Now for her skills, what's really, really important that we have booked is her A2 and her A3. So the A2 is Light of the Deep, increases the duration of ally buffs and decreases the duration of ally debuffs and does some heals. But also this one too, Channel the Bloodline is very important because that's the block damage part that helps with the unkillable. So it's very important that two and three are booked. And for masteries, you're gonna see she's not fully mastered either, which is okay. But again, we're down to the T6, which we're gonna want to try to get, you know, the most amount of damage out of it too. Next up is Seeker. So Seeker is also in a toxic set you see here that we could try to get more damage out of poisons from him. And then he has two mixed pieces. And as far as his stats, we have 193 speed on him. HP is 45,000, 2,900 attack, 2,800 defense, crit caps, accuracy 95. For his abilities, what's important that gets booked here is his A2, which is the Tailwind. Fills the turn meter and increases attack on allies, gets an extra turn. So you're going to want to make sure his A2 is booked. So again, keep in mind, it doesn't mean that you can't fully book these champs. It's just a matter of what's critical that gets booked for these comps to work, okay? So the A2, and then for his Masteries, we have his T6, and you can see the two trees that we went down for his Masteries. 
And last but not least is going to be Apothecary. So it is really fun seeing a rare champ in some of these, you know, like end game comps. But I mean, Apo is one of probably the best rares in the game. And I think most people would definitely agree with that. So with him, he has two speed sets and one perception set. And looking at his stats, he's at 255. So if I recall correctly, I want to say like Demi was the fastest followed by Apo. Oh, followed by Ninja because Ninja had to be one speed faster than this guy. So Demi was the fastest, followed by Ninja and then Apo. So remember that, Ninja's gotta be one speed faster than Apo. So he's at 255, HP is at 45,000, 1600 for attack, 2200 defense, accuracy 157. And for his abilities, what's the most important thing that gets booked here again is going to be the A3, which is Boon of Speed. Increases speed on allies and fills the turn meter. This is the most critical thing. And again, guys, he's a rare, so it's probably going to be very easy to just book him out in general. And you won't regret that either, especially if you're going to take him in a bunch of places with you. And then for Masteries, here we have his T6. All right, so I showed you the gear and the stats for this Mythbuster Vary. And again, the champs are going to be Cardial, Demetha, Ninja, Seeker, and Apothecary. So now that we looked at their stats, we looked at their gear and their masteries, let's go run the comp on Ultra Nightmare. All right, so here we are, and you're going to see Ultra Nightmare. This comp was already ran once today and did 88 mil. So again, a nice, easy one key. And Pori said we can run it again just so you can see what it looks like. And then we'll end up seeing, you know, if we can get more damage than that. So we go into Ultra Nightmare. There is an AI preset. So let's take a look at the preset. Right here. So Cardial, you're gonna see that his Angel Song is set at one, which is the block debuff survive on death, and his Heavenly Host increase crit rates and teams up with allies to attack the target enemy. That is on the A2, or that is number two right here. For Apo, we actually shut off his Soothing Chant. Heals, right? You don't end up really needing that considering this is unkillable, right? And then his Boon of Speed, which is the increased speed buff and fills the turn meter, that's on one. Seeker, we have Devour, which is the Provoke. Demi, we have Light of the Deep, which is the increases duration of ally buffs and decreases the duration. And then we also have Channel the Bloodline, which is the block damage. That's set as the two. And then for Ninja, we have Hail Burn, which is again, that's, that's the attack three times. That's the HP burn is set at one. And then his Scion Slash, which is the AOE, you know, freeze. But it's nice here too, is when targeting the boss, only attacks the boss and ignores the target's defense. You know, again, not that we're necessarily worried about defense in here, but Scion Slash is what's set up as number two. All right, now for how they're set up, you're gonna see that Cardial is in the lead for ally speed in all battles by 19%. So we have Cardial, Apo, Seeker, Demi, and Ninja. And again, you see this is gonna be a full auto comp. So let's go, and this is on Ultra Nightmare. Okay. And isn't it glorious? Look at them go. again about speeds so the fastest champ in this comp is going to be Demetha so Demetha is the fastest followed by Ninja and Apo now Ninja and Apo I know I had mentioned this before Ninja needs to have one speed faster than Apo that's it so I want to say I think Apo was at 255 Ninja's at 256 and I feel like Cardio was the slowest if I remember correctly I think Cardio is the slowest Oh, there's some good points in the chat, guys. So what we're talking about is you have to keep in mind Cardio's also a speed lead in here too, right? 19% speed lead. So yeah, if you're gonna put somebody else in, you'd have to redo the speeds too. So that makes it a little tricky. Ooh, like Tatsura. If you use Haikatuna's lead, any other three turn cooldown, two turn block champs. 
You would need to replace his block buffs, ally attack, and speed aura. Yeah, we need different tunes. All right, there we go. So 84 mil. 84 mil. So check this out. Check this out. Cardiel did 20 mil. Apo did six and a half. Seeker did 13 mil. Demetha, three and a half. And then look at Ninja with 40 mil. Ninja pretty much did half the damage in this himself. Right? Check that out. So what do you guys think? I would love to know what you guys think of this comp. If you guys have tried a comp like this before, if you're running it, let me know what kind of comps you guys are running. And you know, is this something you're gonna try? I do see a bunch of the people on the channel that see this as being interesting because they have these champs or are thinking about trying it out. So leave me some comments, let me know. Well, let me tell you, it would not be a clan boss or any kind of showcase on my channel if we didn't take at least one of the champs and run them as a campaign farmer because my Twitch chat is obsessed with fun campaign farmers. So the people are chanting for Cardiel. Give us Cardiel as a 12-3 campaign farmer. Let's go. Let's see the glorious God and all his action. Go get him. Everyone loves fun campaign farmers, don't we guys? Cardio, cardio. And I love his animations. Yeah, fun. <laughs> Fun campaign farmers. I mean, it's just another excuse to watch. To watch Cardio, right? Just another excuse to watch him. That's all. And by no means is this fast. This is just... <laughs> just to watch. Right, basically we're just watching the, the Greek god doing what he does, right? In all his glory. He does! This card hits pretty hard too, and he isn't a toxic set because again, again guys, remember we just ran that clan boss comp too. No means is it fast. Thank you very, very much, Pori. There, there was a cardial campaign farming for the people. There you go, guys. There you go. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, check out some more videos up here in the playlist on the top right.